so how's your day going? Um, I hope your week is going well as well. Uh, mine is, you know, not too good. Uh, that's why I wasn't um, uh, doing or putting out anything on Monday because I just, uh, out my allergies were getting to me, you know, it's not feeling well. So I'm doing a little better today. Hopefully I'll have some more videos out later. Um, if you have not already, please subscribe and please like the video and leave a comment down below. Um, so I came across this video on, um, coming, uh, on, uh, upcoming on iTunes release. Um, and I thought it, I watched the trailer and I thought this would be interesting. It definitely looked like a low budget film and came off right that. And it was, um, but it definitely had good quality and good, um, historical looking guns and um uniforms and it this movie is a period piece i don't know if it's based on anything um you know like a book or um you know historical accuracy um it has it is definitely a period piece of of sorts um, it is. It takes place between Civil War and Western, but it it it, it equally goes between. It has a backstory. It goes to backstory and then present day. So it's Civil War backstory and then present day, and it definitely did take a, a little listening and watching to actually understand the story because how they do it it's kind of abrupt when they do it between each one and they constantly go back and forth um i, I the guy in here um is is usually a villain and he, he i like him as a character he he also is kind of um as he he was on the CW show as a villain a couple of different shows um Arrow and Legends of Tomorrow but he's also he does what he does is he's a serious actor kind of thing but he he adds com comedic to it to his character so he's kind of a wise ass and whatnot and kind of a playful person while being a villain. He was not a villain in here, um, which I was usually I'm used to him being a villain. And I do like him as an actor. I really do. But the acting in general in here was. I, I the story, I think it's more of the writing that I have an issue with. It's a little odd. Um, don't get me wrong, I definitely enjoyed the movie, but the acting, uh, sorry, the character uh, writing in here, it could be the acting too. Um, I'm not really that professional, so I don't know the difference um, sometimes. Um, but it, was, it just kind of kind of phony a little bit. Um, but, you know, it doesn't really take away the story. Um, you know, definitely a good story, not like something... You know, like, oh, wow, that was just blown away kind of thing. But it was a good movie, definitely low budget. And, you know, for a low budget movie, it was pretty good, shot well. Um, you know, I highly recommend the movie. I would definitely give this three and a half stars out of five. Um, definitely a movie you need to see. You know, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, which a lot of people are, um, I, I definitely was enjoyed. I enjoyed the whole movie for sure. And, you know, a little bit of a, a twist in there that I was not expecting. I thought, oh, wow, for a low budget film, you don't really get that kind of suspense in, or not suspense, but um, that kind of thing where it's a little bit of a, a, a twist that you didn't expect because usually you can expect things to it with low budget how they're written usually but anyways that that is my review um i will have a hopefully another review today um if not tomorrow and the next one is going to be a fan request so stay tuned for that um hit the bell icon so you never miss a a review um and uh 
Thanks for the love and support, and uh, stay positive, everyone. Have a good week.